Hey, what is going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be trying to beat a Nürburgring lap record. And that record is the fastest ever lap set by an electric car. This lap is also the second fastest ever lap around the Nürburgring, and it was made by the Volkswagen IDR, the only thing that has beat this car around the Nürburgring, and to be fair, it's beaten it by over 30 seconds, is the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo. We're not attempting that today, but hey, if you want to see me do that in a future video, then I'm down. But anyway, focusing on the Volkswagen IDR, the time to beat is a 6 minute 5.336. And we're going to be doing it here in Assetto Corsa with this fantastic mod made by Element1999. I think there's a bunch of nines at the end of it. A quick couple things to point out, though, is that this is the Pikes Peak version of the car. So we have a massive rear wing on here. The one that they took to the Nordschleife had a lot smaller of a rear wing. But regardless, we're going to be running with it today. Just turning down our rear arrow will do the trick. So yeah, without further ado, let's head to the Nordschleife and see what we can do. Alrighty, so here we are at the Nürburgring. This will be the talky lap, the talky about the car lap, and then we get to my quiet lap. As you can see, my personal best is a 2.11.4. Uh, I know I could go a lot faster though. So let's see what we can do in our talking lap. Immediately into turn one, on the power, try to set us up for these initial corners. The biggest thing is just commitment. Like, you can't lift right there. That is time lost. Through here, just break as little as you need to. Through here, just left, right, left, right. You gotta be so fast with your input. Your mind has to move at the speed of this thing. Now up through the flu plats. No lift. Of course no lift through here just on the power 265 is where we max out at 17,000 RPMs finally into here we have ABS just break as much as you dare on the power that was the worst I've ever taken that corner but we're gonna ignore it Whew, it is just lightning quick through here as well up through here no lift just flick it in on the brake, turn it in, little power on the brake, slow it down for this little left-right complex. Then of course we say hello to Rebel Tree. Through here, no lift as well. Fully commit on the brakes right after that little concrete curb falls away. And through here, on the brakes, once that little catch fence or the little guard ends, not a catch fence. Now the scariest part for me, honestly, miss, hit, miss. Do a little couple lifts. You honestly have to in this thing. Hard on the brakes, little bit of a snap there, but we catch it and just go, man. It is, you really just have to maximize your throttle time. The biggest thing about doing this lap fast is not touching the curbs. You know, in road cars, even in GT3s, you can take some of the curbs. But this car is like this far off the ground, so pretty much all curbs are a complete no-go for this thing. Hard on the brakes for here. Oh, that's no good. Okay, whatever. That was some time lost, but maybe I could break a little bit earlier there. Into the first carousel. We're going to be going around the outside of it as... No car this low to the ground can tolerate going down onto the concrete, but get on the throttle as soon as we can and power our way up this hill. A little bit of a lift so we don't run wide, and then a little bit on the brakes here. You don't know how often that corner catches me out because it just doesn't look like it's there until it's too late. You really need track knowledge to go fast at the Nürburgring. And I genuinely don't have a ton around here. Like, I, I know how it goes, but it's definitely not second nature. As you can see, the track map in the middle of my screen, so it's very easy to look at. The only time where this car gets airborne, a little bit of a lift on the brakes, on the power. Things move so quickly in this IDR. And then this is where the real downforce gets shown of this thing. Just flat all the way through an absolute roller coaster the only time 
You have to do a little bit of a lift is right here. There we go. Beautiful. And then right here, break a little bit, break a little bit. Ah, oh, damn it. That was such a useless mistake. God damn it. But into the second carousel, we can take that one. I don't even think we need to lift off there. Unfortunate about that little mistake, but this actually is not a bad time. It'll probably beat my 611. But this is where we just wait now. Just <laughs> down the main straight here. Just hold the car straight and you kind of just wait again. All we could do is 265. So we just chill. Finally, through the final corner as we run as wide as we possibly can. A 610 6. So honestly, if we can break into the 6 9s, which I think is possible, I mean, our little off costed us those 6 10s. So very possible that'll be my goal but anyway i'll cut now to my fastest lap around here uh, i'll leave the little tv replay in the corner as well so you can see it uh and yeah i'll do my best let's see what time i can do the apex there, damn it.
didn't need to lift there, man. And that whole area felt so slow. God damn it. Could have been on the power earlier. Oh man. That whole like top squiggly part up there felt so bad, but we'll see what kind of time we do. Guess now's a good time to say. If you haven't already, a like and a sub would mean a lot if you're enjoying the, the new content. I'm surely enjoying recording it. I'll take that. You know what? Oh man. What could have been though? Tell me what you guys think of that lap. I think it was a pretty good one. Uh, mine is screwing up the top portion. Tell me what you guys get in the comments below. As always, all the mods will be down in the description. I highly encourage you all to try this out. Good fun. And if you know the Nurburgring well, then you should take to absolute water with this. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, a like and a sub would mean a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.